at the end of the day, y'all are not beating the misogyny allegations. I really hate to see that she disabled her comment section. I am speculating that it's because of people like that, so that's really not cool. Drinking tea. To forget how dumb you are. So, Poppy just got named Artist of the Year by the magazine Revolver. I checked the Instagram post, I saw the first picture, I was like, damn, this is such a beautiful and cool picture. I loved the concept of the shoot, I loved her clothes, I was really sold. But then I scrolled and I saw this, dare I say, monstrosity. I don't know who edited this image, but it really looks like they used the AI of Photoshop and like they ask it to make the face disappear. But the way like the face is blended, this really looks like AI, I don't know. But just say that I was like, damn, this is like a sloppy job and it really doesn't look good. But it's not the end of the world because like the rest of the picture is really cool, really beautiful. I really liked the concept of the photos and I really liked her clothes, the style. And I was really excited to see that Poppy was recognized by the magazine Revolver. But I was still like, okay, let me check the comments because I really want to see if like anyone is shocked by this. It's not that serious, but you know, I was like wondering. So like I opened the comment section thinking that I was going to find maybe other people talking about this, but instead I found some whiny babies. And I want to talk about it. Why you're going to ask me? Well, it's because Poppy has been doing a lot of things this year and every time I see a post about her, I'm like really excited, I check it out, but every single time I open a comment section on her, it just seems like I cannot escape the dozens for lack of better term, whiny little bitches. So let's talk about it. I'm a little harsh, I feel, but I don't know, I don't care. Before I dive into the topic and probably piss myself off, because yeah, no one asked for this video, it's just me who wants to talk about it, but it's my channel, so I can do what I want. So hi, I'm your host Leo, I post music reactions and deep dives on artists, albums, their fandoms, and I focus on women in rock, metal, and alternative music genres. So you know the drill, if this is your thing, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. So as I said, I post reactions and deep dives, but sometimes I just need to vent and just share my opinion on something. I did that with my video on the Fentanyl reaction to Halsey's album, and here is the same thing. I was just like yesterday, I was like seeing the Revolver post again and again on my feed, and I was like checking stuff about Poppy and I just was like I'm done with the people in the comments so I really wanted to talk about it to fans so just so you know this video won't be like as deep and thorough as my deep dives it's just going to be me ranting I am here to complain about Poppy's haters to be honest so as I said what prompted me to do this video is that I saw the Revolver magazine post on Instagram that announced that Poppy was their 2024 Artist of the Year. And if you're like me or like if you are a huge Poppy fan, you're going to be like, that's cool, I'm really happy. But not everyone agreed with Revolver magazine's choice. And I just picked some comments from the post and I know this is Instagram and I know that people on social media are honestly dumb when they comment, like, I don't know, the fact that they are maybe anonymous or that they are just on a random post commenting make them like a little cray cray. But it's just that I see a lot of unfair critique and I want to talk about it. So I know that I am actually shooting at like a dead horse. I don't know if you say that in English. We don't say that in French, but I'm like, I know that I am looking at people who aren't in the best conditions to post a thorough critique, but I still see some things that I want to react to, so I'm going to read you some comments. So what I'm reading is from the Verbal Vera Magazine comment section. I posted a comment, I uh, was a little mad, but I just had seen like a lot of people hating dumbly and I was like, y'all will stand the most mediocre dudes, but when Poppy releases a lot of stuff and is backed by her label, duh, do y'all understand how the music industry work? Y'all pull the most basic arguments off your bosoms. You don't like her, move on, come on, immaturity in this comment section is frightening. And this sums up my opinion about the haters that we're going to see. I'm aware that it's not that serious, by the way, but it's just... Uh, I want y'all to stop hating on 
people online. Maybe find a hobby, I don't know. We have this girl who's like, how much the record label are paying to write her at all costs. This is like from what I said in my comment. Do you not understand how the music industry works? We are seeing so many horror stories about artists who are not backed by their label, artists who are signed and then the labels put zero money and effort into growing their careers. This is what labels are supposed to do. So. It seems like Poppy has been extremely creative this year and if she's backed by her label and they are pushing her to be on the front stage, to be recognized, this is what they are supposed to do. They are doing their job right. I just don't understand how this shocks some people, you know. We have someone who's like, did y'all forget there's so many other artists who have a bigger year than her? Are is Sumerian paying y'all to do this? The same critic that I personally don't like. And once again, like, this is the choice of the journalists of the Revolver magazine. It isn't about like, this is the bigger artist or like, they don't have all of the objective metrics of the industry. This is their artist of the year, you know? So, I don't know, it doesn't mean that there aren't other like magazines or like billboards and everything that can name her. Other artists, artists of the year, you know, like, but this is the choice of this publication. Like, I really want to be in the head of the people who comment stuff like this because like, where's this girl like, oh, I'm gonna comment this, they're going to read that and be like, oh, my bad. Um, I don't know, like, they, this artist had like more album sales. Let me change the publication real quick. I don't know, people are silly. I want to note that there are still a lot of Poppy fans and a lot of people in the comment section who are really happy about that and about Poppy being recognized. So that's cool. And I want to give a shout out to those people. So it's not all black, but I wanted to react to some things, you know. Some people are answering like what they said. And like someone was like, um, I love Poppy, but Galjira surprised the whole metal community. They're a death metal band playing on the Paris Olympics. Olympics. That's impressive when usually it's some pop artist who plays every year. Someone answered to this person and said something that I agree with. It's like, wow, a French band playing at the Olympics in Paris and yes that's what it was about so it wasn't about like recognizing metal especially even though in like the creative direction they decided to include that which I thought was madly cool and I absolutely exploded when I saw them during the ceremony of the Olympics but it's not about them being metal it's more about them being French and being recognized internationally. I get what this person was trying to say but at the same time it's a French band in a ceremony that's happening in France. You get my G's. Someone was like, can we stop giving her the industry plant in metal any sort of recognition? Artist of the year, no stage present at all, mid vocals, shouting like a screaming child. Wonder what she did for that kind of strong marketing because it's definitely not her talent. Who are you to say that? I'm really wondering like who are these people? Like I completely disagree. Saying that she's an industry plant is so dumb. Poppy has been in the music industry for a long time. She's tried different genres. She's done many Many different projects and she changed for metal and I think she's doing a great job so honestly this kind of comments I'm just like you need to move on you really posted all of this just to hate like and say that she's an industry plant also men love calling women industry plants just because they don't understand what they are doing so maybe it's a you issue someone was like who's poppy and I just love these people because they're like, think they're doing something like, oh, I've never heard about them, who's that? If they were interested, we know that they would look up the person, but they're just trying to get a little attention that their mom probably doesn't give them. Someone is like, more like most pushed artists by a record label in 2024. She's done a lot of projects. She released an album. She did collabs. Just the thought, maybe Poppy is a passionate musician who wants to do a lot of projects and has the luck of being backed by her label. Have you ever thought about it like that? Or do you just not have the ability to comprehend things in a rational way? Thank God, between all of these, in my opinion, silly beliefs, we have a lot of people who are applauding Poppy. So I really love seeing that. We have some people trying to actually debate in the comments with these haters. And honestly, 
kudos to those, but you know, these people are just here to hate, so they're never really going to understand. But like, yeah, I appreciate seeing some fans trying to defend her. Someone is saying Poppy is not that bad. Is she artist of the year good? Hell no. Who are you? Are you the music expert of the industry or do you not think that the journalists and editors at Revolver magazine know what they are talking about and maybe they do a little more than you? I don't know. I'm salty. I know that no one asked for this video. I just wanted to, I don't know, I like Poppy and it pisses me off to see like bad faith hate, you know, like. I know some people might be like, oh, but you're doing this video. You need to find a hobby. This is my hobby. Drinking tea to forget how dumb you are. Someone is saying no hate towards her, but she was thrown into everything this year to keep her name up. Not really artist of the year. And honestly, this is where I'm going to throw the y'all are misogynist accusation because like she wasn't thrown into everything to keep her name up she did projects do you not understand that women when they are artists also have the desire to do a lot of projects sometimes diverse projects and this is what happened with poppy like i don't know if y'all are aware but women have brains and they have their own desires and they have their own projects. It's not just like executives throwing them into shit. Poppy is an artist who has a vision for her career and her art. This is such a stupid comment, really. We have a lot of very cute people applauding them. I'm going to post a screenshot so you're going to see the comments that I'm talking about but you are also going to see a lot of people applauding her so I want to send big hearts to all of these people. And again it's just that I'm tired of seeing like honestly dumb hate against women who are just trying to thrive you know. It's also coming from men and women like it's not just all men but women can also be misogynistic in ways and again it's not like you don't like the artist it's like these comments that I am reading here, they're really... It's not interesting critic, it's just like dumb hate or like dumb arguments. And I also like the people who are like, who? Like again, what are you trying to do? Who are you trying to get attention from? Other sad people like you who want to pretend they are cooler than the artists, they will never ever reach the same level of... Anyway, I like Bobby. And I have this one, sell out wannabe chick, and again, sell out wannabe chick or just a woman who wants to do art. You need to find a patient that is something else than like putting silly comments to throw hate around on social media. Just an idea. And y'all are going to say this is not that serious, these people have the right to share their opinion and yeah they do, but you cannot fight me on the fact that these comments are silly and have no purpose other than like trying to put down a woman who is succeeding. And I'm talking about that because I noticed that Poppy disabled the comments on her Instagram account, which is something that often happens when like people are too much, honestly, on social media. We see so many celebrities who honestly cannot handle fame anymore. Fame has always been complicated to navigate, but I think that with social media, it's getting a lot and seeing that Poppy disabled her comment section makes me sad, honestly. I noticed that it's still up on TikTok though, so I'm wondering like what's the difference between the two for her. But given how silly people can be when they comment on the internet, I'm not surprised, but I just think it's sad because Comment sections are a great space for artists to interact with their fans and because of people like that who honestly no one is asking for, like we cannot have these spaces anymore and artists cannot enjoy these spaces where they are going to see feedback from their fans or even feedbacks in general. But honestly, like a thoughtful critique and these hate comments and silly comments, it's not the same. And since a lot of people were like, oh, why is she artist of the year and everything, I just want to remind some of y'all what she's been doing this year. So she began the year with a song with Bad Omens 
and she co-directed the music video, so huge respect for that. She also toured with Bad Omens in Europe, and if I see a single person in the comments be like, it's just because she's dating Noah, so Noah is the singer of Bad Omens, I swear that I'm going to block you. Maybe they do, maybe they're friends, and whether it's true, or not, they respect each other enough to collab together, so maybe that's also saying something about Poppy's talent. I really like gossip, but I swear that some of y'all are ruining it for me. I think that like a lot of people, I saw on TikTok a video of Noah from Bad Omens at the Jimmy Kimmel show, so a lot of people were like, that's because he is the boyfriend of Poppy, and like, you know, it's funny to kiki to see this kind of stuff and be like, oh, maybe something is out there. Hee <laughs> hee, you know, like, it's fun. We kiki and it's nice. But I cannot open a comment section on the topic without having, like, a lot of people who are crying and hating on Poppy for nothing. So I'm tired of this, honestly. Thank God I found some posts where people were chill and there was no Poppy hate, but I swear that it's a rarity and I am tired of it. Because she has a lot of fans and people who love her music. She is successful, but the haters want to be loud and it's pissing me off. She performed in a lot of festivals, but she cannot perform. Maybe you should eat a wall. She collabed with Knocked Loose and they did a music video. She performed on the Jimmy Kimmel show, which is one of the biggest shows in the US. She was nominated at the Grammys with Knocked Loose. Yeah, you can argue. Not like if you take all of these things individually, none of them are like the ultimate indicator of someone's talent. But there are a lot of things that prove that she is recognized in the industry. So why can't your silly ass just shush it? You know? She launched content on the platform Veep. I personally cannot check it out because I'm in France. Uh, maybe I should get a VPN. But from what I'm seeing, it looks really fun and I just wish I could see the show. And she also released a new album. So you can say whatever you want. It seems that she is passionate about what she's doing and where she's at right now in her career. And I love seeing it. And also, it really seems like y'all are forgetting that at the end of the day, the journalists of Revel there do what they want. They are human with subjective taste and they made a choice. And because you disagree with this choice, like it's not a reason to be a crybaby about it. Oh, but this band deserved it more. Did they or is it your subjective taste? Such as the journalists have subjective taste to and they chose to. Oh, but not clues should have gone on it. Do you not think that this band that liked Poppy and her work enough to collab with her is not happy to see that she is getting some wins? So anyway, this was my very subjective video rant on Poppy's haters. Y'all can cry about her success all you want. I'm really happy to see that she is getting recognition. She is very creative. She seems to be passionate and dedicated. So at the end of the day, y'all are not bidding the misogyny allegations. Because not liking an artist, preferring other artists, or like thinking personally that the artist is not good, is not the same about spreading hate and whining. I really hate to see that she disabled her comment section. I I'm speculating that it's because of people like that, so that's really not cool. If you're still here listening to my rant, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. Sometimes I just like doing these videos where I share my opinion. I was your host, Leo, and I will see you very soon.